and this is going to scare some of you, but not all of you. But when Yuri Gagarin, the first Russian cosmonaut, became the first man that we know of that went into space and came back, this was 1961, and I want you to know that I remember it. Everybody was very excited about it. And some of you are saying, what? <laughs> I remember it. But he was, you know, uh, the official doctrine of the, of the Soviet Union was atheism. And he came back and he said that um, he went up into space and he didn't see God, which he thought confirmed the atheistic viewpoint. And C.S. Lewis was still alive and he wrote a little uh, essay called The Seeing Eye. And in it he said, uh, excuse me, he said, if there's a God, you wouldn't relate to God <clears throat> the way a person on the first floor relates to a person on the second floor. In other words, you don't find God by going higher up in your own space. If God is our creator, then we would relate to God, not as a person on the first floor relates to a person on the second floor, but as Hamlet relates to Shakespeare. Now, how is Hamlet ever going to know anything about Shakespeare? Hamlet's not going to find him anywhere on stage. If he, you know, he can go all over, he's never going to find him. The only way he's ever going to meet Shakespeare is if Shakespeare writes himself into the play. In other words, Shakespeare created Hamlet, and if Hamlet's going to know anything about Shakespeare, Shakespeare's going to have to write himself in. Scroll forward. Uh, Dorothy Sayers was a mystery writer, and she wrote a set of mystery short stories and uh, novels about a detective, a fictional detective, Lord Peter Whimsey. About halfway through the novels and the short stories, a love interest shows up, Harriet Vane, and they fall in love. You know, he's very lonely. Uh, but then Harriet falls, uh, shows up and he, they fall in love and they live happily ever after. And many uh, experts on Dorothy Sayers' work believe that she had written herself into her own stories. That she had looked into this, this world she'd created and this, this character she created and she saw he was lonely and she loved him and she wrote herself in to, uh, to save him. I'm here to tell you that almost, almost, not completely, but almost, that's exactly what God has done. And that's what the Incarnation is about. He created us, and He looks at us, and He sees us flailing and sinking, and He loved us enough to write Himself in. And that's what the Incarnation is. Jesus Christ is the Creator God. It says so in John chapter 1, the Creator God become a human being and come here to love us and to save us.